All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. Today, we have XCAP and Hydras, our two champion pistol gods, and they're going to be up against five copper players. Wish them the best of luck down in the comments, and make sure you guys follow them with their socials linked down below in the description. And if you guys haven't already, make sure you guys are subscribed, turn post notifications on so that you don't miss any other videos like this one. And let's hop straight into round number one. All right, here we are in round number one on border, and our two pistol only champs are going to be pushing outside of east right now trying to take archives it looks like you can see hydras is droning out the site right now trying to tell x cap where to shoot through the window but x cap is going to miss the wall bang but he's going to be trying to throw a grenade in instead and push back the azami playing behind the desk here inside of archives but hydra with the first kill of the game onto beans no more malusi for the copper players yeet struggling there trying to hit the shots onto x cap x cap also going to be missing his shot so that's going to allow the zombie to escape with her life for now at least she is on low hp x cap narrowly missing the shots onto la LA is going to go ahead and rotate off into office along with the Jaeger. And wow, Maestro going to hop out of the window. X-Cap surely able to pick this kill up, right? X-Cap, he's not going to. Maestro is able to get away, rip down the door. X-Cap goes to the window and oh no, Maestro takes him out. X-Cap throws a nah in chat and here comes Hydras to refrag on the front door. The quick peek comes out and there's the one tap. Wow. Great refrag from Hydras, but a, what a catastrophic fail from X-Cap there here in round number one. Hydra's going to repel into the armory side now, and with a minute left, he has plenty of time to make a push onto the site here. And with a rotate into 90 hall, he's going to have to fight LA on the thorn, but LA is going to choose just to rotate off instead, pushing into the hallway, but Hydra's going to be rotating up onto the rotate itself. And oh no, LA still trying to fight this. I don't think he realizes that the champ rotated onto that head height angle. Hydra's taking loads of damage, though, from the Azami peaking the metal stairs right now. LA trying to wallbang and finding, trying to find this kill, but it's not going to happen. The stun from Hydra comes out onto the Azami, and he's going to take sight based off of that. And the Malusi is going to reveal his location as well as that Thorn Trap, which almost kills him, actually. But Azami has no clue where he is. And wow, Hydra's picking up two big kills here as he's going to destroy the Maestro and the Malusi and try to go for the plant here. Jaeger, the last remaining player for the Copper players inside of Fountain right now, going to be pushing in through Metal Stairs. Hydra's just holding outside of CC right now. There is that rotate the 90 that he's going to have to be worried about. But... Jaeger has already pushed into armory. And now with that call out from the announcer there, Hydras will realize that. And he's going to have to defend against this stick, but it was a bait. And Hydras is going to win it. An ace coming out from the Zofia. Great round. All right, Hydra is going to be outside of Archives door right now. Briefly activating that Malusi inside of Archives. Hopefully that didn't reveal his position, but... He's going to reveal it himself by trying to shoot through the archives door through the wall trying to damage the players playing behind the mirror window that's looking over archives right now but x cap it was all a distraction for x cap to nade from below but beans is able to refrag from the top of these stairs and well it's x cap's turn to get the ace 1v5 clutch can he do it hydras did it last round it is not without is not Without the realm of possibility for X Cap to get this clutch here. A minute and 35 seconds left though, so he's gonna have to speed things up a little bit. Beans and Cav are right now directly below X Cap, and he gets the first one, but I don't think he realizes there's another below as well. And Beans grabs up two kills against the champs in round number two. All right. Hydra's and X Cap pushing outside of Teller's window right there, and Hydra's going to light up the Rook player quite a bit. Putting him on less than half HP now. That Osa shield going to help Hydra's peek the teller's window. But oh no. For some reason, Alibi ran out of the East stairs. And X-Cap is going to punish him for that. And X-Cap's going to pick up his second kill onto the pulse as well. As he's just trying to 
melee the window right in front of x cap questionable decision making but hey they are coppers so what can you really expect here hydra's going to be droning out the site trying to find where the mirror player is playing taking a look at our other copper players they're outside of tellers playing on top of each other in waiting right now we're finally going to see thorn rotate off of the teammate go into passport but that that means there's only the the mirror on site right now and even the mirror has actually rotated off no one is playing on the site so if the champs can somehow find a way in they do have site control at the moment Mira finally going to rotate back into sight now, and X-Cap's going to pick up a kill onto Rook off camera, and he's going to go for his second, or I guess it would be his fourth on the rounds now, as he picks up the kill onto the Thorn, and it's all up to Mira now in the 1v2 against our two pistol gods. I don't know if the Mira's got it in him to win it. A minute left. The champs have so much time. They also have the sight. Hydra's insight is going to try and plant, and now X-Cap holding so that he can do so mira on the road taking a vault through but x cap watching the jump out lawless round from the champ players x cap is going to run out of passport door and maverick dmr of all things will be there to take him out oh poor x cap maverick gonna be on about 10 hp he's gonna try repelling up to the sandwich window and he's gonna use the torch to try to silently open up the window Maybe enough for him to repel in through, or at least drone through right now, but Hydra's off screen will grab the first kill of his second 1v5 here of this game. The champs do have not, or, uh, round advantage, but they do want to get this match point here. Maverick going to repel in. He does have this DMR and very low HP, so I'm expecting Hydra's to easily win that gunfight. But Brava is coming in to help out. The Elamine going to disorient her, and a lot of damage will be done onto the player. But LA comes in from behind in archives and takes Hydra's out, tying the game up 2-2 two to two now. This is pretty close. This is honestly good. All right, Hydra's is going to be prone inside of break room right now. And oh no, Jackal's going to be crouching into break, but he has no clue that the champ player is right there. And wait a minute, how did he get two kills? Hydra getting two kills. I didn't even see how he got the second one. I'll have to watch that back in post, but a great two kills there from Hydra's. The Malusi pistol, pistol is just so strong. And now it's going to be a 2v3 the hoppers still have the man advantage even after those two kills beans trying to get this angle all the way from triple wall into sight he needs to go more to the right so, so that he can look deeper into sight but he's going to rotate off of that yeet pushing into fountain now trying to get control of archives he does have this diffuser he's going to want to be planting in archives here as soon as he can brava is already in sight right now but oh no x cap vaulted on the desk in small closet will take him out and hydra will pick up another one onto the ace so it's all up to ash inside of 90 hall x cap sitting behind africa right now realizing that ash is pushing into fountain and wow the pre-fire with the pistol x cap will take ash out and the champs will win yet another round the score is out three to two. Champs take match point. Ooh, a spawn peak coming out from Hydra's will light up Jackal quite a bit, bringing him under half HP now. Good start for the champs. Not quite a kill, but hey, you really can't ever complain for free damage. With that being said, though, Iana is playing things fast this round. He's going to be pushing into workshop very quickly and narrowly misses the opportunity to wall bang hydras while reinforcing that wall he's going to make himself known to the two champ players by shooting a hole open up into workshop looking into the site now hydra is playing close in that hole possibly going to swing that here soon but oh no x cap is upstairs and so is phase fiddle who will take him out the iq player leaving hydras in a 1v5 yet again he'll do a lot of damage onto sledge but it's not going to be enough sledge will take him out and the coppers bring it back to overtime 3-3 three, three. honestly this is super close i think this is this is extremely balanced all right an ash rush from beans but x cap will punish that immediately i'm not sure what beans was thinking there 
Sludge is going to be on the door as well, trying to refrag. Ele is going to drone in using the Iana clone. And oh no, here comes a C4. That'll take out the Blackbeard player and put Sludge onto about one HP. Two grenades are coming out though. Xcap not going to take any damage from either as he gets closer onto this armory wall. Another grenade comes out from the Sludge, but again, it'll miss. Iana's grenade also missing. I don't think they realize that X-Cap is close on the wall right now. IQ trying to push in, possibly through office right now. But X-Cap going to grab two kills right now as he grabs a headshot and also a Capkin trap kill. Hydra's impact, impact opening the wall here, trying to grab an angle onto the Iana to help out X-Cap as IQ died to the Capkin traps while she was trying to push office side. So... No need for Hydra to even watch that at this point. Elay hopping in through the CCTV window. With only a minute left, he needs to kind of figure out what he wants to do here. Both of our pistol gods playing inside of sight. Just waiting. And it looks like Elay now is going to be pushing in through office double door where his teammate previously got capkin trapped to death so he's got to be careful make sure he looks out for any remaining traps but oh no x cap will swing in a flawless round coming out from our two pistol gods and they're going to take match point again as well so if the golds would like to stay in this match they're going to have to win this round to bring it at least back to 4-4 by the way, if you guys have made it this far in the video and you haven't already liked the video, consider doing that as it really does help out the video and the YouTube algorithm. Also, consider commenting any other video suggestions that you guys have as I am trying to do any videos that you guys are interested in. All right, if you guys were interested in the scoreboard here, XCAP rocking 14 kills and four deaths right now. Hydra's nine and three. So both of our champs here putting in the work at the moment, but... Beans prone on East stairs is going to do a lot of damage to Hydra's, but Hydra's is able to actually down him. But here comes Castle to potentially refrag, but oh no, Hydra's is ready for him as well. And that's just another kill for Hydra's. Two big kills now as the Mira swings out, takes out X-Cap all the way from Archives on the run out somehow. Fortunately, Hydra's is able to refrag, but it's a 1v2. He's only got a sliver of HP now. It's not looking good whatsoever, but he does have plenty of time. The Chaka going to be trying to set up in sight. There's this mirror window as well in front of him. That's going to help look over archives right now and really limiting Hydra's options. The fire is coming out from the Tachanka and Hydra genuinely has to be careful of the fire as I believe he'll die in one tick of it. Minute and 35 seconds left. The Thorn flanking. Why would you full sprint into the fountain like that? You have to pre-aim. Either way, Hydras will take him out. And oh no, the Thorn Trap! The Thorn Trap from Elay From the grave. It doesn't matter how he flanks. The champ can't get out of the animation of placing the Osa shield. And... Wow. The Coppers are going to bring it to 4-4 over a Thorn Trap. All right, interesting setup coming out from our champ players here. Hydra's aiming at this Goyo trap, waiting for it to go off. X-Cap with the C4. Possibly going to blow that up. He doesn't realize, but if he, if he blew it up right there, he would have had two kills. He could have potentially still taken out the Sledge. He still can take out Sledge. That, that could have been two kills for X-Cap, but I guess he just didn't have faith in the C4 there. Hydra's going to have to rotate out of ventilation. As looks like his Goyo was set off. Sledge rotating off of that detention wall and instead pushing towards the front door and the ventilation window. Grenades are going to be thrown out by LA, but that is going to miss. And Fuse with the diffuser is going to be solo pushing prone upstairs, trying to take above. This could actually work for him, but hold on a minute. We're going to have beans all the way inside of waiting room and X-Cap is there to take him out. He will take a little bit of damage, but really... The kill there was worth it. Now, the coppers are inside of sight. Finca deep in sight, going to do a little bit of damage onto Hydra's X cap. Rotating into supply room will do a little bit of damage onto the sledge player. Hydra still stuck in the back of workshop. Prone X cap will grab a kill, making it a little bit easier 
for Hydras to stay alive inside a workshop. The X-Cap will grab another kill onto a lay, and Fuse is still above with the Diffuser this entire time. The Coppers have been in sight, but like I mentioned earlier, Fuse pushing solo above with the Diffuser. Not a smart decision. All of that effort by his teammates for nothing, as now he has to retake in through this window and try to get the plant off. X-Cap rotating in from Customs right now. He's got a C4. He will be able to throw it over the bomb and grab this double kill. X-Cap pushing in. It doesn't... I don't think these coppers realize it, but Fuse will somehow be able to pull off the Diffuser and grab the kill to X-Cap. X-Cap luckily taking out one with him, so it's a 1v1 for the game. 4-4 four, four match point. This is for everything. Who is going to win it? Both players on practically the exact same HP now. Fuse going for the plant. Hydra's trying to alt walk in. He can't quite get the angle onto the fuse, but he comes off the plant the last second. He tries to get the swing. Both players will miss. 20 seconds on the clock. Hydra's is just trying to burn the time right now. Fuse going back to the corner, trying to get this plant off. He cannot keep faking like this. He's running out of time. 15 seconds left. Hydra's rotating into the door. He's going to sprint around. The bomb gets planted, though, but Hydra's with the prone will take out the final copper player. Ladies and gentlemen, GG. Taking a look at the scoreboard. X-Cap, 18 and 6. Hydra's, 14 and 4. Our two pistol-only gods able to beat five coppers. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks to these guys for playing. Follow them with their socials linked down below in the description. Make sure you guys are subscribed. Turn post notifications on so you don't miss these daily uploads. Like the video and I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video.